Hello and welcome to another lesson on sound isolation and room acoustics. Today I am going to be talking about something very interesting. Many of you who have been following the channel for a while know that I once said I didn't like hush frames, then I became like an evangelical uh, promoter of hush frame rafts, and now having done a few projects with them, I am moving away from them. They're, they're no longer gonna be something that I push and recommend as the first option for my designs. And in this lesson, in this video, I am gonna tell you why that happened and try to give you the whole story, make it really fair, and just give you my honest feedback, which I've always tried to do on this channel. And one thing you also know is that on this channel, I evolve as I continue to, des to design and grow as a person, um, as the owner of this business, Soundproof Your Studio, I'm always growing and I want you guys to grow with me. Uh, and I think it's important that we don't stand super strong on any of our uh, ideas. If things change over time, we change as humans, we grow, that's life. All right, before we jump in, I wanna let you guys know I have a free resource for you. It is my free soundproofing workshop. It is 30 minutes of in-depth teaching going over three different designs that I show you in SketchUp going through how I designed them. Uh, first is the backyard studio, then it's the garage studio, and also a basement studio. So all three of the major places you would build your home recording studio, I go over them in that workshop. You can sign up right away at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's go over this lesson on why I am moving away from hush frame rafts and into this other clip, which I'll tell you more about. Okay, so first off, why did I decide to move away from hush frame rafts? The reason is that starting this year, so I had put them in a bunch of designs, and as you know, you know, you put things into a design and then you try them out. We tried them out in Nashville actually back this summer, which is when I really started pushing them, and Henry, my contractor, said he liked them, and whatever Henry says he likes, I trust him 100%. And it was great and everything was fine. But then we had our first problem, which was a ceiling failure where it, the ceiling sagged a little bit. I semi took responsibility. I did take responsibility for that saying, hey, we should have pushed the hush frame rafts better, uh, more together. But looking back, I realized I looked at one of the diagrams in hush frame rafts, which apparently had been outdated. And it still said that it should have held the load that I put on it. So that was the first thing I learned, which is that when you're using the hush frame raft system, you need to over design. You need to look at, you know, what it, if you're going to hang two layers of drywall, potentially make it so you could hold three. If you want to hold three, make it so you could hold four so that you always have that room for error. And that, that could have been my fault. That's, but that's something you guys should all know as you're designing these things is that you need to over design, especially your ceilings. The second thing that happened is we had another client where they apparently did everything right, but they still heard some sound like stomping through the ceiling. And, you know, I talked with Alan, the owner of Hush Frame Rafts, and we went back and forth about it a lot. And, and he felt that it was due to the contractor installing them incorrectly, which I agree. I think that's what happened because based on our design, they definitely should not hear anything. We fixed the problem, but it was not ideal. And I came to the conclusion that one of the pr main problems I've found with hush frame rafts is that they're very difficult for contractors to install. Unless the contractor is extremely detailed, reads an entire 15 page manual and understands them inside and out, it's not something that is very intuitive. And there's a lot of places where during the install, a failure could happen. And that's not something I like on my side of things as the designer. I wanna give the contractors the easiest step forward to sound isolating um, a system. So that's one of the reasons why I'm moving away from hush frame rafts. And it leads into my next uh, problem, which is where we had a client where they installed uh, the ceiling themselves. Uh, they did not use any of my plans. And it, this was more of a client, I was giving them advice consulting and the entire ceiling came down. And the reason this happened, we decided, again, I talked with Alan about that and we figured it out. And the reason is that we think it was due to contractor installation error again. Um, and so now this happened two times to me and I decided, okay, enough is enough. You know, I really like Alan. I really honestly like the hush frame rafts. I'm going to be completely honest here. I think it's a cool product. I think it offers a lot of possibilities, which I'll talk about later in this video. But ultimately what I realized is that 
it's only as good as the contractor installing it. And it requires so much specific detail, slow, you know, all these things that, as you guys know, contractors are maybe not known for, uh, getting in, s slowing down, not trying to rush through the project, reading a 15 page manual, learning something new that they've never seen before. All of that is not necessarily something I can count on with my projects in the field. So for that reason, I am moving away from hush frame rafts, especially on my ceilings, and I'm moving towards another clip called the Genie Clip RST. So let me show you a little bit more about this and how this all works. All right, so right here you can see the Genie Clip. Um, this is the Genie Clip RST. This is the ISO store, which is the number one place I usually recommend buying products because I just like their customer service. I like how organized their site is and I trust them. So here's the hush frame raft. You can buy it for $4.95. These are actually cheaper. So another reason I'm moving towards them. And one of the big things that sold me on this is the best low frequency performance uh, than other clips at 80 hertz and 100 hertz. Um, so you can look into the sound test data um, and you can always ask them for the sound test data. Um, but I noticed that you know a lot of the problems we have in this industry with these isolation clips, especially in ceilings in basements, is the foot traffic noise. And, and for those of you who, had try, who have tried to soundproof a basement for like you know an airbnb or something or an apartment in your basement you've probably struggled with the footfall noise and the impact noise and these can help with that um, potentially more so than other clips now i thought that um, hush frame rafts would do a good job with that and supposedly they might but so far we've had some not so great experiences with their ability to stop low frequency vibration noise uh, on on several projects so i'm moving away from them for for that reason again and it again you could always argue it's due to contractor failure but we've had enough issues that i just can't keep recommending them that's just i just can't in good faith do it so with these you attach them to a 7 8 inch furring channel strip right here and it's so much easier you just put a screw right through the middle into your wood or metal studs um, and or ceiling framing and then these metal channels the 27 uh, 25 gauge 7 8 inch furring channel just clips right into uh, the clip itself you don't if it's not level it won't work if you don't clip it in all the way it won't hold right you know whereas with the hush frame rafts if it wasn't perfectly level, it could cause a ceiling failure and you wouldn't even know until the ceiling was finished. If you split the wood when you were drilling in the hush frame rafts, that could lead to a ceiling failure as well. With these, you're not gonna split any wood. Um, it's, it's made out of metal. It's a lot more sturdy than just the silicone, which holds the hush frame raft. So um, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm moving away from them. Uh, I wanted to show you guys some examples of just how this works. So let me show you this one. So if we look here, um, we've got some open web trusses and you can see down here that I've installed the grid pattern for the genie clips on the ceiling. And we've got the, uh, seven eighths inch furring channel, and that is going to be attached there. And then we're going to add our 23, 30 seconds OSB to that. Uh, on our ceiling, which I always do as the first layer, and then the 5 8 inch drywall after that as well. Um, in this case, we're using two layers of 5 8 inch drywall. In this case, we're using two layers of 5 8 inch drywall. Now, we also can use these on the wall system as well. So if I go down here and I'll show you guys the wall design in this project here, we can actually go in here, wall, We'll look at the two by six wall and we will take off the five eighths inch drywall and the uh, OSB. And you'll see that I've created the genie clips on this metal furring channel here as well. So, you know, it can be used on both our ceiling and our walls and it is great. And I, I don't mind it. It pushes the out one and five eighths, which one of the benefits of the hush frame rafts is that it only pushed it out um, one inch instead of one and five eighths of an inch. But something you got to remember with sound isolation is the larger the air gap, the better the sound isolation. So part of me is like, well, I'd rather just get a little bit more air gap anyways, um, unless we're in a position where we're in a studio that's super, super, super small. In this case, I would still use the hush frame rafts. Um, and I wanted to show you this example of this studio here where this is a really small, you know, backyard shed studio. And I opted, even though I'm not the biggest fan of hush frame rafts, I opted that it would be worth it here 
to do them vertically within the stud bays. Um, you can see here that they're not connected. There's a little tiny gap. They're not connected here, but this gives me just a quarter inch bump out there, uh, which is really awesome for, you know, minimal, minimal intrusion while still getting decoupling in our walls. Now I did not use them on the ceiling here because I do not use hush frame wraps on ceilings ever anymore. I've just made that a flat out rule in our design firm um, to avoid any issues. But, uh, you know, we're using the genie clips on the ceiling here. So it's hard for me. I like Allen. I like the hush frame wrap company, um, but I just can't in good faith keep on recommending them based on the experience we've had this year in 2025. Things may change in the future. I'll always update you with another video, but I just wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people are moving towards hush frame rafts and I'm totally okay if you want to do that. I just wanted you to also know some of the things that we've encountered in the field when you're building these. It's one thing to have a beautiful product on paper. It's another thing to get it out there, test it and see, ah, you know, maybe this is not really needed. That's something I've learned with other products like green glue over the years where we've kind of eliminated things because we just felt like it wasn't as necessary anymore and didn't really help our projects. So as our design firm is developing and growing, we're always going to let you guys know out there in the world of building soundproof home spaces, uh, how this stuff is working for us and hopefully improve your projects as well. If you're on that journey and perhaps you want to work with uh, myself and our design firm, Soundproof Your Studio, uh, I would love to talk with you over a 30 minute Zoom call. You can do that by going to soundproofyourstudio.com and clicking on the I want construction plans button there and that will take you to sign up for a Soundproof Clarity call. For those of you who are really on that DIY journey, I've got a free resource for you. This is my free soundproofing workshop. Uh, it is, again, 30 minutes of in-depth teaching going over how to build a recording studio or soundproof space in a garage, basement, or backyard. Again, I'm Wilson Harwood. Thanks so much for watching. I am a studio designer and acoustician based in Nashville, Tennessee, and I will see you next week with more information on soundproofing and room acoustics. All right, thanks so much for watching.